Yep. No kidding. I'm not making this up. I'm going to post the link right here in the chat, as well as in the description, just in case somebody don't believe me. No kidding. There we go. There it is. There's the link. Oh, I should probably mute myself so that we don't go all pinch, 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 hitting, hitting, hitting. Pedro, 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 Gonzalez, Salas, Salas, Salas. So, yeah, I can never keep track of whether he's Waldorf or Statler, but one of the Muppets just said that he opposes gun confiscation. He opposes um, so-called gun buybacks, um, as if you could ever buy back something that was never yours to begin with. <laughs> and uh, when I saw that, I thought, well, well, they're taking it out of context. So they're putting a spin on things. Because, you know, every every headline you read nowadays is just overly sensationalist and they're putting words in people's mouths and it's not really what they meant but this is what bernie meant he meant that gun buybacks mandatory buybacks are for a couple of things that are really shocking one he says mandatory gun buybacks are confiscation which a lot of <laughs> a lot of anti-gun politicians won't won't admit with um, won't admit to that, that much even, and then he goes on to say that confiscation is unconstitutional, and he's right. So when somebody like me, the asshole who wears make commies great again shirts with picture of a helicopter on them, when somebody like me. <laughs> finds himself agreeing with something that Bernie Sanders said, that means there's something seriously important going on. As much as I disagree with Sanders on <laughs> pretty much everything, I think he principle left. And yeah, you can be like, oh, look, at all, look at those mansions that uh, <laughs> that caving into Hillary bought him. And, you know, that's a... That's a fair criticism, I guess. But um, let's confine it to just this. Uh, one, he's right. I, I hope you would agree with me. I'll, I'll, I'll read from this Washington Times article. Democratic president, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders on Monday slammed proposed mandatory buybacks as essentially confiscation. The Vermont senator was asked during Q&A in Charles City, Iowa, whether he would support a federal mandatory buyback on ARs and AKs. Mandatory buyback is essentially confiscation, which I think is unconstitutional, Mr. Sanders responded. It means that I'm going to walk into your house and take something whether you like it or not. I don't think that stands up to constitutional scrutiny. He's right. Now, does that mean that Bernie Sanders is suddenly pro-gun? Um, despite hailing from Vermont, the first state to have constitutional carry, no, Bernie Sanders is not suddenly pro-gun. Um, Sanders also said gun violence is an epidemic that he plans to address on day one, because that's what everybody does. They're, they're going to address their favorite issues on their first day, because that's how presidencies work. <laughs> he said that in addition to, of course, universal background checks, he wants to ban all, all assault weapons sales though he plans to take a tough stance against the National Rifle Association. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, first of all, NRA is irrelevant. Nobody gives a fuck about the NRA anymore. Sorry. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. It's time you guys just fuckered off and went. Um, everybody, please don't stop donating. Just stop donating to, to NRA. Donate to... GOA, SAF, FPC, uh, JPFO, um, the your local CDL. Um, there are just so many good organizations. I can't name them all. A lot of them are doing some solid, serious work out there. Um, pick one. 
pick one and donate. And most importantly, get out there and advocate. Donate to strippers. Sure, sure, fine. I, I don't think they call that donating. I think that that's called payment for services rendered. But fine, hookers too, hookers, blow, all that stuff. Uh, let me see if I got any. Bernie let Hillary take all his donations that did nothing about in 2016. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, and if you want to oversimplify, it's probably better just to say that Hillary bought the the election the the primary election of course which is you know that's essentially what happened again it's oversimplification but it's probably it's prob yes the dnc was able to use all of the monies that were donated to bernie but to put a finer point on it um hillary donate donated a whole shit ton of money to the dnc and then the dnc turned around and nominated her um so yeah i guess i l bernie letting the dnc use the the funds that were donated to his campaign i i wouldn't fault him i mean either side of the aisle whatever republic uh, that's the thing that people normally do is they lose a primary election and then they turn over the the money to the to their party that's the sportsmanship thing you're supposed to do, I guess. I just, I don't know. Um, I'd be able, again. It's it, <laughs> it's a lot more to the point to, to to point out how Hillary stole the election than what Bernie did with it afterwards. The bottom line, no, he's not suddenly a friend to <laughs> to gun rights advocates. But when one of your biggest opponents is standing up talking about how unconstitutional confiscation is <laughs> you might have a losing issue and before before we get too far ahead of ourselves and get all wrapped around the axle on this never interrupt your enemy while they're making a mistake let them focus on let them focus on the red flag laws and the um buyback that sort of thing because if they, and I mean, first of all, gun control is a loser political issue. It's, it's, you're going to lose elections when you run on that shit. But let's say they manage to pass a bill that, um, that allows for unconstitutional confiscations. Well, great. We get to challenge that. Awesome. That we need to stop. The way to stop having these conversations, the way to stop having to argue about this shit over and over and over and over is to bring this shit to court. Get this into the courts. Fight it. And we're going to win. <gasps> We've never really lost. Uh, there have been times that cases have been um, delayed. And of course, in lower courts, obviously, there have been a lot of decisions that didn't go the way the gun rights advocates would like to see. But Every time that we've been able to move an agenda to the Supreme Court or even most of the, the higher court, not higher than Supreme Court, but the federal courts and um, courts of appeals and whatnot, most of the time we've done very, very well. And at the Supreme Court level, we haven't lost yet. Why wouldn't we relish the chance to bring every motherfucking one of these laws to court? I'll see you in court, motherfucker. <laughs> I love you.